This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, today's story is from the AP. Proposal would require permit for media filming in the wilderness. Uh, this is from the U.S. Forest Service that wants to do this. That you uh, have until November 3rd to comment. Basically, I want to require the media to have permits to do any type of photography in the wilderness. This is absurd. This is a clear violation of the First Amendment. They, the U.S. Forest Service could decide what type of story can be put up and what can't. And they would uh, issue permits up to $1,500 for a permit. Liz Close, for Service Acting, uh, Acting Wilderness Director, said the Wilderness Act of 1964 permit prohibits commercial enterprise in the wilderness. Rules exclude breaking news situations defined as an event or incident that arises suddenly, evolves quickly, and rapidly ceases to be no newsworthy. Uh, hogwash. They chased some dirt bag out into the woods and just killed somebody and then they forget about him. Alright, uh, we're headed down a real slippery slope. We allow the government to include editorial news gathering activities and commercial use," said uh, Mr. Older Mickey H. Osterreicher, General Counsel for the National Press Photographers Association. I agree with the press on this one. Uh, now I have little love at all of the mainstream media, but on the other hand, they have to support their right to uh, photograph what they want. This is utterly absurd. This is ridiculous. I, like I said, I have little love of them, but the First Amendment's clear on this. Um, you cannot sit there and say, well, you, uh, we're going to decide what you can say and what you can't say. The other thing is, I'm wondering what on earth it is that the U.S. Forest Service has out there that they don't want people to photograph. See, the problem, here's the thing. If you photograph something, you are part of the media. I mean, if you photograph it and put it on YouTube and say, this is this and this is this, and it's your photograph, you're part of the media. Whether you like it or not, you are. This is absurd and ridiculous. You know, what are they going to do? Ban photography of uh, rocks and trees and things? I don't get it. This is utterly absurd. It's ridiculous. They want to consider going to... Uh, U.S. Forest Service's website, I have not yet. And give them a good solid tongue lashing. This is a clear violation of the First Amendment. Which, of course, Obama doesn't care. If he cared, he would remove that idiot uh, who runs it from power. This is the problem you get when you have these organizations that are not uh, subject to the vote being allowed to do this type of thing. 
in other words, you cannot, the voters cannot get together and vote the uh, director of Forest Service out of power and replace her. She should be removed immediately by Obama. Here's a little bit more. Ed John, J-A-H-N, a producer and reporter with Oregon Field Guide, program of Oregon Public Broadcasting, said he and his colleagues have been asked about a dozen times over the past several years to get a permit to film in the wilderness. It varies among forest service districts. Some require a commercial filming permit. Others don't have a problem. In each case, he said they tell the agency they're doing a story and do not get a permit. We're journalists. We don't ask permission to do a story. Ron, I'm going to highlight it. That one's not going to happen. Ron... P, general manager of Idaho Public Television, said his station recently applied for a permit to film in four wilderness areas in Idaho for a program to air last year on the 50th anniversary of the Wilderness Act. It was a bit of an arduous process, I'm sure, and there were a lot of questions about what was the nature of the program which we were doing. P said that he was worried that if the proposal becomes permanent, it could be m mean more burdens that will interfere with the ability to do their work. Well, I agree. Unbelievable. They're artifacts of Mars. Uh, I'm sure you can find the wilderness service. Uh, website if you want. I would remove her from, remove this idiot from power if it up to me. And if I was in Obama's place, that director would be gone immediately. When this is a danger when we have these government agencies that have this much power. MRFX Mars, thanks for watching.